Hi guys, today uh, I want to show you what I was working on last week on my uh, layout. So I don't know if you saw the video I posted on YouTube building this section here. And uh, I never put the gates in uh, when I finished them last year. So last week I had time and uh, I decided to install the gates for this uh, crossing um, for this uh, warehouse so all right it, this is a little bit uh, kind of tricky where it is it's very close to the edge here and there's not much room so the other uh, gates that i have done i have used um, logic rail uh, kind of modules so automatic uh, basically they uh, you can use turtoys and uh, I hope I pronounced it right so you can bring the gates up and down and they have IR sensors or photo cell sensors so you can uh, basically it senses the locomotive the train when it comes and activates the gates but what I have done, uh, basically, I have uh, used uh, a couple of different things to operate the gates and also make the lights flash. So let me tell you what I have done. Okay, so I have used this uh module timer module here there's one here and also there is one here these have ir sensors i have installed them inside the track here and also another one is right around there in the breach and another one set is one here and one oops and one here all right so i triggered it all right so so yeah there is a sensor is about it's about 27 inches to the gates on each side i made them shorter because this is a it goes all the way on the bridge and the train slows down where it comes very slow so i didn't you know put too far away uh, so i think it's sufficient enough so all right that's uh, the basically trigger for the light so as far as the gates going up and down what i am what i'm using is this little module here it has a knob on it and this controls two servos so you can activate the servos turn them you know let me show you see when i turn the knob i can activate this servo There's one here and there's another one right there. All right, so yeah, the servos activate, actually move the gates up and down. So I have to do it manually. because there is no room uh, actually uh, i have two logic rail uh, modules but these are the older ones and they don't control servos i think so that's why i bought these i bought four of them they're like 450 each 
a pretty cheap from China with shipping I think it's like five six bucks for the shipping so uh, I'm gonna use this for some other uh, applications so I just wanted to try and see how they work for now maybe later I can uh, install the logic rail you know modules and uh, make them work automatically but right now they're manual so but they still work and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you these kits these actually are in a kit they come in a kit so you have to install them yourself so solder them everything on the board yourself but for now let me uh, show you how the uh, uh, the sound of the bell let me bring a locomotive or a train I've turned the sound off on the locomotive so you can hear the bell I'm gonna bring down the gate manually So the sensor is right there. All right. Yeah, so for now, I think it's pretty good. So uh, until I install the uh, logic rail modules, and those, uh, so they work with the new ones, work with uh, servo, so I can use it. But for now, I think it's sufficient enough. So let me bring back the train. Now bring down the gates. Too late. All right, so let me show you the sound module. So this is the sound module. So I installed a relay here to activate the sound module. So these two sensors, this one and this one are daisy chained together. So either of them goes off, it was to activate this relay this small relay here and then uh, that relay will turn on the sound module and I have put that loop over there so as soon as the power comes on the sound uh, goes on so I gotta put these wires together so alright that's it uh, I've been working I don't know for maybe 10 days off and on on this thing here and uh, this little gates, I kind of modify them. These are uh, IHM, I think, or the chip kind of like uh, gates. Uh, I extend the arms and I install the LEDs and the stuff. So uh, I think these are the really good size uh, for this uh, HO scale. It's got a lot of work, but uh, it's worth it. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today. And uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, please don't forget to like and 
uh, actually share and subscribe so until the next video thanks for watching okay, let's bring back the locomotive It's hard to work with one hand, so... <laughs>